you guys. So it's super early, 7.53. I did not get the opportunity to go to the gym this morning, but that's okay. I'm still taking my walk with Cam. Um, Kaden had a field trip this morning to Georgia State and um, he did not want me to chaperone, but we did have to like do like all his check-in and stuff this morning. Um, and it was right at my gym time. So I didn't get the opportunity to do my gym session, but that's okay. Um, at this point, Clarence has already left for work as well. Cause normally I still would have came back and tried to fit it in. Um, but with us going on our staycation tomorrow, Clarence went in early because he's gonna get off early today. So right now I'm just enjoying a strawberry and cream cheese Danish. I'm normally like not this type of breakfast person, but we got like a little Danish cake thingy for our anniversary. So some friends of ours stopped by yesterday, Donovan and his girlfriend. They brought us so many cute little anniversary gifts. I'll share them with you guys. Um, and wine and brute, kava brut, um, and this little like Danish tray. Um, and so I thought this would be nice to try. Um, Clarence tried it last night, but y'all know I'm not a huge sweets person, um, but I like it with coffee. I do like sweets with coffee. Um, so yeah, I was like, I'll try it in the morning with my coffee. So I'm doing that. Um, I did stop at Walmart this morning. I just had to pick up little knickknack stuff. So we don't have flowers here because if y'all hear that noise in the background, that's blue boy eating. Um, we don't have flowers right now, which is fine. We're leaving tomorrow afternoon. So, and we won't be back till Sunday afternoon. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave it as is. I was gonna buy some flowers, but I'm like, we're not gonna, enjoy them because we'll be gone so right now i am about to answer some go in my youtube studio and answer a few comments back um and then i'm probably gonna catch up on summer house um because i actually missed it on sunday um yeah, so that's all we have going on at this very, very moment. Um, yeah, so let me enjoy my coffee. I did make my coffee as well. I'm still loving these Dollar Tree mugs. If you can find them, definitely hop in there and get them. You guys know it's coming up on Mother's Day. So speaking of Dollar Tree, let me share with you guys what I found yesterday. Y'all know I just randomly walk in the Dollar Tree. This particular time, I'm glad I did because I found so many goodies. So the first thing I picked up, again, all these things were random. I literally just went in there yesterday like, what do y'all got in here? <laughs> um, they had this Playtex Baby gen, uh, chest rub so um y'all know fall and winter months vapor rub vix is all over the place well with cam i know he's not a baby anymore however i still don't like putting real harsh stuff on him like that so i figured this would be nice because it's non-medicated um and it's made with eucalyptus rosemary and chamomile so um, I thought this would be nice when the season permits and we need it. We'll have it for my dollar and 25 cent. It was worth it. Then y'all, I had to pick up my favorites. If you've never tried these, pick them up. They're the Pop Daddy pretzels. I love the cinnamon sugar if I'm looking for something like sweet and crunchy. And then these smoked Gouda have been my favorite every time i see them i get a pack um they're so good if you're like me you're not really a sweets person i'm more of a salty savory type person so so good these smoked gudu pretzels are amazing and for 130 calories you can have 30 of them so if you're watching your calories and 
for the cinnamon ones you get 30 sticks for 140 calories so picked up some snacks now y'all know how i feel about a good face mask right y'all the dollar tree did not disappoint me okay i went in there they had this korean snail mucin sheet mask and you guys know how i've been feeling about the snail mucin essence that i've been using here recently so i thought a sheet mask would be so nice if y'all don't know i love to do sheet masks when i watch my tv shows anytime i'm just sitting back on the sofa watching a tv show i typically have on like some kind of sheet mask because it allows me to fit in masking without me having to do a lot and a lot of times you don't even have to rinse these they just like seep into the skin and they're supposed to stay until the next day so um this is by onion natural moisture snail sheet pack you only get one it is like korean made and it's a natural sheet pack natural mask sheet pack it has a real skin fit sheets um for and it's for all skin types so we're gonna try it out i need some so i got two of them <clears throat> sorry y'all still early for me and then I don't know if you guys know but this particular brand spa life is sold in target each one of these packs has 10 ready to use masks these are the spa life anti-aging green tea facial mask ultra moisturizing 20 minute facial therapy paraben free dermatologist recommended you get 10 in a pack got two packs again I'm a sucker for sheet masks so I felt like why not restock my little because right now I only have four sheet masks left and I normally keep about 10 on deck so this is nice for a dollar and 25 cent and I got 10 masks hello I love it um and then you guys and this is the thing I'm gonna leave the spa life website down below because these masks are like seven and eight dollars a piece and these right here i picked these up these are their 24 kiss radiant lip jelly so these are like lip masks you get eight in a pack i went on the website these are 9.99 per pack i got them for a dollar 25 each i should have just got more but I'm going to try them out and make sure I like them. If I do, the next door I go in that has them, I'll pick up more. Um, but I'm always, I'm a sucker for just slap it on and move on. And I don't have to do all that rinsing and stuff. So, love. Got two of these. Y'all. So, you remember, I keep telling you guys about this Simple Made brand. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. My voice has not come in yet. Um, this are the sink. What do they call these? The two-pack sink strainers. So I'm going to put these in my sink. We have a double-sided sink. So this will be perfect. For $1.25, you guys. And they're really thick like silicone. Oh, my gosh. I'm super excited about these. So I got these. And then the last thing I picked up were just these bag chip clips. They're not, again, none of these brands are Dollar Tree, okay? These are just things that they've had in the Dollar Tree. Um, a lot of people say they've been getting this stuff from Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, but yeah, it was a four pack of chip clips. And I like these because they're big, so they'll cover the whole bag. We have some other ones, but they're kind of tiny. And so they're for like smaller bags, like stuff like this. But for chip bags, popcorn bags, stuff like that, this will be perfect. So it was definitely worth my dollar and 25 cents. So those are the things that I found recently um, at the Dollar Tree. 
I'm telling y'all now, get in there. Y'all know we're in an inflated market. I say it all the time. And if you need to still get your household goods and stuff like that without breaking the bank, y'all, the Dollar Tree is not skipping a beat. Oh, I also got this. I put it down and almost forgot to show it to y'all. It's like a little grocery store bag. You guys know I've been into that lately too. Like when we go to Sprouts and stuff, I just kind of bring my own bags. Um, Aldi, Lidal, but they had this and I just thought this was so cute. It says mama, mommy, mom, bruh. If you, and then it has hashtag mom life. If you have boys, if you have boys, you've heard this a thousand times, so. I just thought that was cute. Um, I'm probably gonna throw it in the car. Again, I keep these kind of bags and stuff and little, um, you guys know I have those collapsible bins for when I make my produce runs and stuff at Sprout. And like I said, Aldi, Lidal, stuff like that. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy my breakfast. Um, I have something else that's scheduled to get here today. So I'll share that with you guys. Um, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. You guys are probably just going to chill with us today. Like I said, it's just the day before we head out for our little trip. Um, so I do want to have something to show you guys tomorrow and tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. I do want to uh, do a vlog. So I have something to put up for you guys tomorrow. I did put up my Louis Vuitton experience, um, yesterday. And you guys have responded well to that it was a great experience for me if I repair anything else of course I'll share that with you guys as well I'll probably in, later on in this video show you guys how I I packed that because I am gonna bring it with me um, on my staycation I'm gonna bring the true set 23 because I feel like I want to bring a few more makeup items it's our anniversary so I'm really gonna beat my face um, and so, yeah, I may bring that with me, but as the day progresses, I'll be back. Hey y'all, so it's much later in the day. I am getting ready to finish up with the work. I thought my sephora order was gonna be here but it's not i think it's i need to check my phone hold on it's my mom actually hello yeah y'all anyway so um i got a phone call that was my mom and i got distracted but um i ordered the way hair and body mist um i you guys remember I got like a sample of the body lotion and it was okay. I tried the scrub. It's all right, but I do feel like I would really like the scent in a body mist because it is very like springy, summery, you know, like beachy and tropical. So I did order the body mist to just wear on a day to day. It said it was going to show up today, but um, I got an email saying it'll be tomorrow. So. Hopefully it'll uh, show up before we leave for our little staycation tomorrow. But we got a little gift from one of Clarence's um, really, really good friends and his girlfriend. Um, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. They also got us a Kava Brute, which I thought was so sweet. So we're actually gonna bring this with us um, so we can enjoy it the night we arrive. And it is by Los Monteros. It's a cava brute. Um, I wanna say this is made out of Spain. Absolutely, it is made out of Spain. So, uh, product of Spain. Really excited to give this a try. So that's why it's like not champagne, of course, because it's not made in France. But I like brutes that are made from uh, Spain. So hopefully that'll be really nice. And then they got us. I was just telling you guys that I'm not a big deep dip teak fan, but I'm glad they got this candle for us. It's the dip teak base candle. Again, I don't burn them in the house because of the kids. And I just feel like, you know, but in 
lieu thereof and because we are going to be away i figured well i'm not going to turn down a gift we're always thankful right but i'm going to bring it with us on our little staycation so we can burn it there so there's that i will open it with you guys i thought that was so nice though boy boy thinks it's a treat I want to say the bay candle is like berries or something. I've had dip tea candles before, so it's always been this little nice insert. Smells beautiful, of course. I'm not going to doubt that. They always have really beautiful smelling candles love this i really do it reminds me like it brings back memories because i used to purchase these back in the day when i stayed by myself um when i one of my first apartments i purchased this for myself mm, so it smells really pretty so i am gonna bring it on our little staycation um right now i'm just finishing up some packing they also bought us a bottle of Pinot Grigio, but it's in the fridge. I've got it chilling. So I just thought that was so sweet of them. Um, it's not the couple we double dated with. I don't think you guys have seen us do a double date with them, but next time, of course, I'll film so you guys can get to meet them. Um, but yeah, they're a couple that we double date with all the time. And I just think that was so sweet that they thought of us. So we will definitely be enjoying these on our staycation. What else is going on? I'm just waiting on Clarence to get home. The kids are in the back playing. I was just enjoying some of my pop daddy smoke Gouda. They're in my office. Um, pretzels with a Alani new. This is the mimosa flavor. Really, really good. Um, and that's it right now, y'all. Like I said, I'm just about to finish packing up my stuff, which I'm pretty much done. I really need to do some packing for the kids. We're only going to be gone two days, but I got to pack them up for grandma and grandpa's house. So there's that. But I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. I just wanted to say hey and show you guys this gift um, that we got earlier uh, yesterday. So I'll check back in with you guys later. Oh, and then my hair, I am gonna do something to it. It is not gonna look like this. Um, it's really still done technically, but going to the gym, I have to put it in a pony. So I'm gonna straighten the pony out tonight. And what I'm gonna do is actually throw some curls in it. So it'll throw a little bit of life back in it. I'm not always putting heat on my hair. So at this point, I don't mind throwing some curls in it this one time to bring it back to life. So yeah there's that so again i will see you guys a little bit later today i'll probably show you guys like what i'm bringing in my suitcase and how i'm packing this ferragamo bag because you guys when i tell you i love it i love it like it is chef's kiss like holds so so much so i'll share that with you guys and then probably check out i just wanted to make sure i vlogged for you guys and i had something to put up on uh friday i will see y'all in a minute hey y'all so i am about to close the vlog out with you guys um we're not doing too much i am gonna enjoy some wine tonight like i said um our friend donovan and his girlfriend they got us a wine and they got us the kava brute so the kava brute we're gonna take with us on our staycation but tonight before we head out um we're gonna enjoy a glass of the pinot grigio that they got for us so i'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here we are actually grilling you guys so <laughs> clarence is out in the garage well the garage area the front part of the house grilling um he's got some ribs on the grill right now got some baked beans on and he actually um grabbed potato salad as well and some uh, mixed veggies so i'll probably show you guys some b-roll of that and we're gonna get up out of here actually before i do that i will show you guys how i packed up this 
tote bag because I'm almost finished with that. But yeah, this will probably be the last time that you guys see me. I feel like my voice is like going in and out. I probably need some hot tea. I've just been doing a lot this last few week, uh, this last week. But anyways, I just wanted to close out the vlog with you guys, let you know that I would see you guys later. Um, hopefully you guys have a great weekend when this goes up it'll be friday so i hope you guys have a good weekend if um anything make sure you follow me on instagram i'll probably be on there a little bit um over the weekend but yeah i'll see y'all later you guys so before I show you like how I pack everything in the tote I did want to share with you guys what fits in the Trousset 23 and how I've had it packed up my brushes I keep in a separate pouch I'll show that to you guys in a minute but this is what I'm taking with me and this is how I put it inside I really utilize these little doohickeys I don't know what they're called these little grippers I use these a lot so I'm bringing my Mikole skin tint Charlotte Tilbury setting spray I did order this in the Sephora sale I totally forgot to mention it but I did um, my Dior lash primer my YSL mascara my NYX Control Freak. I like this for my eyebrows, for setting my eyebrows. The, this is a NARS eyeshadow pencil. I was going to bring my Dior palette, but I just didn't want to overload. And more than likely, I'm not going to go too crazy. So this shade is like a gold color. So I feel like with this mixed with my bronzer, it'll be perfect. So I brought that. I'm bringing my... Bobbi Brown Lip Oil in Slow Jam. My Amicole Concealer. That's in the shade 2. I'm finishing up this Dior Skin Correct, for Forever Skin Correct Concealer. It's almost done. Having a 4.5 in. That's for highlighting. I'm also bringing, oops, almost fell. This Huda Beauty Beauty faux filter corrector mine is in the shade mango i'm bringing my bobby brown vitamin enrich face base along with the vitamin enriched eye base this has been my jam lately it's the amicole um skin melt loose powder in rich deep I'm also bringing this blush. This is one of my favorite Dior blushes. This is the Poison Matte. It's a really pretty, like, um, it's a really pretty, like, pinky color. I like it, like, berry toned pink. I like it. Um, what else? And these, those things I was keeping, like, in this little flat pouch. And then I'm just bringing these last two items also by Dior. Their highlighter and their bronzer. You guys know how I feel about Dior. So the highlighter is in the number four. I think it's Golden Glow. And then my bronzer is in the shade 08 Deep Bronze. So that's everything that's inside the Trousset. 
that's everything that's inside the trousse is completely empty and then to pack it back up again these items I'm just putting in this little back compartment my blush my highlighter my bronzer um, I don't necessarily have to use these I just choose to if that makes any sense so like I'm gonna put my Nicole. I put my concealers, my Huda Beauty stuff. Um, this stuff is just better standing up, in my opinion. So that the lippies and stuff, you could probably put those down in here. In here. Course, we're gonna stand up the setting spray and then I'm just gonna slide in my powder my eye cream and my face base and we're good to go so love this love 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 this it packs up super super well all right you guys so here's the bag I'm about to throw oh bless you baby that was Cam he had to sneeze I'm about to throw my last minute items in here so uh, of course my trousse and, and my tablet so I don't know if you guys there we go it's chiming but um yeah and my tablet so I'm gonna put that in here what else fits in here is I've got a pair of sunglasses. Forgive that chiming, y'all. Um, I've got a lint roller down. These are all in the pocket. I'm actually gonna take the um, tablet and drop it down in there as well, just for the road. It's only an hour drive, so it's not gonna be crazy. But So then I'm about to pack this up. This is just gonna house my brushes. It's just a Christian Dior pouch that I got in like a gift with purchase, but it holds my brushes really well. Um, we've got my Trousse 28, which is housing my skincare, my post shower care, my oral hygiene, and all of my shower stuff. Um, and like my shower cap, my deodorant, all of that stuff. And then over here is my camera pouch. So that's all. I'm not bringing my laptop. I'm only bringing the tablet for like movies or like music and I don't wanna, you know, blast it from my phone. Um, so let's see, hopefully you guys can see how much and look at how much room is, is still at the top, y'all. So when you zip it, there's still like all this open space. It's hard for me to do this with one hand, y'all, so I apologize. I just need to fill that with my brushes. But other than that, this bag is packed. So it's all packed up. I'm trying to get it all in the frame, but it's all packed up. But then you still got so much room on top. So I love it. Um, I've still been trying to find a, another version for you guys, or even this version, because I think it's well worth it. Um, but I'm going to get up out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog today and I will be vlogging over the course of our staycation. So I'll see y'all Monday.